Hello, I'm Anita with Anita's Creations 633. Today I'm going to be making a dish called Chicken and Mozzarella Empanadas. It's very simple and I'm going to take you step by step so you can understand how to do it. Okay, let me set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to start. I've already washed some chicken thighs. We're going to add this to our pan. We're going to boil it. So we're going to add some water just to where it will cover the, the chicken. Then I'm just going to put a piece of onion and two garlics. We'll turn the fire on and we'll let it cook until it's uh, well done. And then I'll bring you back for the next step. We're also going to add a little bit of salt. It's about a tablespoon and a half. Now we're going to let it cook. I'll be right back. Okay. Now we're going to do the dough, the masa. It's made out of maseca and water. That's all there is to it. So I have in my bowl, I have um, a cup and three quarters of maseca. You can find this in your Mexican uh, stores or Publix or anything like that usually carries it. So all you're going to do now is you gonna have water and I can't tell you exactly how much water I'll just show you the dough once it's done um, so you know what it's supposed to look like and the trick to this is that you need to knead this for a little bit of time because uh, if you don't your tortillas doesn't come out um, smooth they crack all up they're hard when they're cooked and you don't want that so this was to the rim right here and this is how much water I've already put in it and I think we're fine now with that water. Now we just got to make sure that it's all well mixed. Okay. I'm going to do this off camera so it doesn't take so long to watch. Because you don't want to watch me knee in the dough. I'll show you when I come back what it looks like. Okay. I then knead this. A good way to know that it's done, you take a little bit, make it into a little ball, and then you're going to press it down. Now, as you can see, it's not broken or anything like that. It's smooth. So that means you've kneaded long enough and it's got just enough water in it that um, you don't need to do anything else to it. Okay? Let me get set up and then I'll show you what the next step is. All right, I'm back. So the chicken's been cooking. Meantime, the dough, I have it resting for a little while. That helps it a lot. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take out the chicken and let it start cooling down. So we can start shredding it.
Okay, so there it is. We're gonna let it rest. So it can start cooling down. And then I'll set up for the next step. All right, the chicken has cooled down enough to where I can shred it. And that's what I'm in the process of doing right now. Like so. Okay, I've done shredded the chicken. It came out to two cups of chicken. And this is mozzarella. I'm going to add two cups of mozzarella. And we're going to mix it all up. Well, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put the oil to heat up. Because we're going to fry them. I want to show you a little trick. Because not all of us have a tortilla press. So what I did, I'm taking the dough. And I've got a piece of uh, pl uh, plastic that I've cut up. And now what we're going to do, move this a little bit. And we're going to flatten it out. Okay. Just like this. You don't want to roll it out too flat because you want to be able to uh, put the mix inside of it. Maybe you could do it a little better than I do as far as rolling it. But anyways, that's the whole ordeal. It's just to take the, two, the sheet and just fold it over. Seal in the edges. And there you have it. That's one way of doing it. And then we'll just put it in there. The next way of doing it is to have a tortilla press. Put your papers down there. Put it like that. Put this one on top. And then press it down. And you take your tortilla and you're going to fill it up with your filling. like so and close it up same concept as the other and there you have it and just put it in your grease being careful not to splatter yourself and then we just wait until it's cooked. So those are two ways that you can do it if you don't have this. And if you have it, this is how you do it. And you fill it in with your filling. Okay? Next step, I'll show you what we're going to be doing. Okay. I got a couple of them made up. So now let's put them in the skillet. Be careful. Don't burn yourself. Okay, it's done, and this is what it looks like. Doesn't that look delicious? I got sour cream, and I've got salsa verde with a little salad around, and the chicken mozzarella empanadas. Okay, let's take that bite. 
I like to dip it in both of the things and Really, really good. And then a little bit of salad that goes with it. Awesome. Really, really good. It's not that hard. It takes a little prep. But other than that, absolutely delicious. You can do these with chicken, beef, whatever you want in the inside pork you can make it with any meats that you want ground beef very good now boys how did you like it christian you like it <laughs> those are my grandbabies frankie and christian they loved it. So, I hope you make this and enjoy it because it is absolutely delicious. Please give me a thumbs up, share, comment, and let me know what you're thinking, what you might want me to do. And God bless each and every one of you. Until next time. Bye.